part two of Mississippi. <laughs> so this is the 2022 edition, May to be exact. So to recap, my cousin Victor died the day that I was supposed to go to Mississippi. So I went there very depressed and over time. Gradually, not only did they change my perspective on the fact that my cousin had died and my depression there, but they showed me a lot about the way that I should approach life, um, being happier and accepting things that are and knowing that I can change some things and can't change others. So here I am, some almost eight months later. And I'm planning to go to Mississippi next month. Who I was then and who I am now are different but the same. Because I had gotten a job before I left. Um, my cousin Victor actually is the one that um, was like, Gary, go put an application at the grocery store. So I did. I got called back. And I had fun at my job. <sighs> when he died... It was like, God, I'm going to hate going to work. I'm going to be depressed the whole time. I just had this future laid out for me. And I wasn't going to like it. And while I was there in Mississippi, my cousins kind of helped build me up, build me up, build me up to where I am now. Where when I go to work, I have fun. Like, seriously, I literally, I have fun. I mean, I've done some stupid things like you know I had a crush on a couple of people a couple of women that um had no interest in me and it happens because I work with some really good people but I also met my best friend there my best friend now her name is Heather and I think she there's there are people who will say that God sent you Heather to you know repair the broken heart that Victor left and I don't think so. I just think that it was right place, right time. <laughs> because she was working there. In fact, when I saw her, I just walked up to her. I'm like, you remind me of my of you remind me of a girl I went to school with years ago named Heather. She's like, that's because that's me, dummy. Pretty much like that. I don't think she called me a dummy, but she should have. But you know, I work with her. Her boyfriend um, works there. They have a beautiful daughter, and she and I we get along like. Peas and carrots. You know, we make each other laugh. I piss her off every now and then. But she's kind of like my rock. And she's learning. I think she's learned this lesson. That little things mean a lot to me. So when we go out. Like when me and Victor would go out. We would be going out. And he'd be doing some things. Heather and I. When we go out. She goes shopping. And I walk with her shopping. Because I have fun watching her shop. And that kind of takes this whole thing, this whole friendship to a level that's amazing because it's like another lesson learned. I can have a plutonic female friend and nothing but friendship attached. And she's beautiful. She's a very beautiful person inside and out. And her boyfriend's really cool. You know, and there's nothing he knows and we know there's nothing to worry about. We are just buddies and she keeps me so level and grounded at work I just laugh I laugh and I joke and I kid around and they love me there my the customers love me the employees for the most part love me I almost feel like a natural a, a national treasure there and that's not to toot my own horn, it's just the way that I'm treated, and I love it, it's amazing, and I try to stay as humble as I can, but it's like, while I'm there, I have a personality the size of the Empire State Building, it's just, bam, hi, how you doing? So, it, it's changed me, going to Mississippi changed me to that fact, and then just being back here, and looking at life, it's the same thing. And then Heather's taught me a lot about how to save money, even though I haven't listened very well because I'm broke. But Heather's taught me a lot about how to save money. A lot of money, in fact. She's She helps me out with a lot of things. So going forward, when I go to Mississippi, I'm not going to be depressed. Crossing fingers and nothing happens. I don't believe anything bad will happen. But I'm not going to be depressed. 
I'm going to be this happy guy who's going to enjoy himself and I'm going to love life and I'm going to love being there and I'm still going to have questions and I'm going to ask questions and what's amazing to me is that my cousin Tori told me that her kids learned from me. They, I think she even put it in terms that they are better people because of me and that is such an honor, okay, it's an honor. In fact, my cousin Chase's friend Kale wants to see me again, and that's another thing that I find it's it's an honor for me for people to notice the type of person that I am and for me to make an impression, a positive impression on people. That's the thing that I've always wanted to do with my life. I always wanted to change the world one person at a time. Even if I don't change somebody's entire life, if I can change their perspective on people, on things, it's what I want to do. And I'm going to continue to do that. And I'm excited for another chance to do more and be more for the people that I care about and love. So you guys wish me luck in being able to get there. Pray that nothing happens between now and then so I can go there and just be who I am, this happy me. I love you guys. Y'all have a good one. And uh, do say.